Houston is, of course, the headquarters for America's space program. That program is on the brink of a major transition. And it occurred to us as we made plans to come here to Houston that not many people know where the space program is going. Eight, go from eight to start. For 27 years, the shuttle has been the U.S. space program, the only means to get astronauts into space. Zero and liftoff. 125 flights so far, all in low Earth orbit. And with just a few more flights scheduled, the shuttle will be retired in a year and a half. So where does NASA go next? In effect, they plan to go back to the future. This was spaceflight 40 years ago, Apollo 11, the first time man ever landed on the moon, 1969. NASA's plan now is to go back to the moon. And this NASA animation shows how they plan to do it. They'll launch two rockets, this Ares 5 rocket will take a lunar landing vehicle into Earth orbit. The Ares 5 will be the, the largest uh, launch vehicle that anyone's ever built. Then a smaller rocket will take four astronauts into orbit. One of the things we wanted to do was separate the crew from the major cargo of the flight, which would be the lunar lander, all the experiments and gear that the crew would take with them to the lunar surface. The astronauts in their capsule will link with the spacecraft carrying their lander reignite the engine from the larger rocket, and head for a three-day trip to the moon. All four astronauts getting into the lander and going to the moon's surface. We will go to the moon uh, anywhere on the moon. We will stay twice as long as Apollo did with twice as many people and be able to bring that crew home any time. But why go back to the moon when we were there 40 years ago? The plan is for astronauts to live there for weeks at a time and perfect the systems that will later take man even deeper into space. The plan that we've laid out would actually lead uh, humans to Mars uh, sometime in the next two or three decades. All of this is a long time away. The rockets haven't been tested yet, astronauts won't fly on them until 2015, and the first time man will return to the moon won't be at least until 2020. Now, that date is in the mind of every astronaut, few of whom were around when man was last on the moon. Those of us that weren't alive then, we've grown up wanting to go to the moon and uh, having that dream. Do I want to go? I mean, absolutely. I would really love to go. A lift off. Of but with 10 years between retiring the shuttle and getting to the moon again, will the public continue to support space exploration? And will the Congress, which will have to appropriate billions to make it all happen? It's very concerning to us to not to have this, what we call the gap between the end of the shuttle and, and flying humans on Orion. Um, uh, on the public, uh, uh, surely it will have some impact on the public's perception of how, how uh, out front and, and leading NASA is. But for right now, that is the plan for the post-shuttle era, 2020, man to the moon. Optimistically, 10 to 15 years later, man to Mars. And already, the equipment needed to make that all happen is being built. This, for instance, is the rover that astronauts will use to drive around and explore the lunar surface and later the surface of Mars. I had a chance to ride in it today and drive it at NASA headquarters. It was quite a ride, and we'll show it to you tomorrow. Up next.